Hey, welcome to the Flat X2 channel. My name is John. On this channel, we talk about all things physical media. So movies, music, and books. If you're in that kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe down below for more of that kind of content. Well, this is my very first collection tour, Blu-ray collection tour. I am excited to take you through the collection. This by far has been the biggest year of growth for my collection. So I'm going to walk you through alphabetically, starting with numbers all the way to Z, uh, my Blu-ray collection. There will be some DVDs in there, and they are either uh, titles that have not yet been released to Blu-ray or ones that I am working on upgrading. And there will be a few 4Ks in there as well. At the very end, of once we get to the letter Z, I will then show you what I've got for television, documentaries, that kind of stuff. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to go as fast as possible and we'll get through the collection. Thank you so much for checking out this video and here we go. So we'll start off with the numbers. First off, 310 to Yuma. Next we have 12 Angry Men on Criterion. 12 Years a Slave. 13 Hours, 21 Bridges with Chadwick Boseman, 42 also with Chadwick Boseman, 50 First Dates, 99 Homes, absolutely love this film, and 1917, just recently picked this one up, this is on 4K, and uh, have not watched it yet, really looking forward to it, and let's go to the A's. So for the A's, we've got uh, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Uh, we have a double feature, Adam Sandler. We've got Big Daddy and Mr. Deeds. Uh, the African Queen. I will one day uh, upgrade this one to Blu-ray. Aftermath. Uh, I love this Schwarzenegger film. Highly recommend it. All Mine to Give. Anatomy of a Murder, I do want to upgrade this one to Criterion for sure. Uh, Angels with Dirty Faces, this unfortunately does not have a Blu-ray release. Hopefully one day it will. Uh, Ant-Man, the first one, still need to pick up the second one. Apollo 13. Aquaman. Argo. Assassins, this is a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, Avengers, the first one, Avengers Age of Ultron, Avengers Infinity War, and of course Avengers Endgame. Let's move to the Bs. Okay, so the B section is absolutely massive, so here we go. Uh, Batman 1989, Batman Begins, Batman Returns, Batman vs. Superman, a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, The Beaver, uh, love, love, love this film, highly recommend it, uh, Be Kind Rewind, this is one I definitely want to upgrade to Blu-ray, Bicycle Thieves on Criterion, incredible film, uh, Tom Hanks in Big, uh, The Big Sleep, Humphrey Bogart, I do want to upgrade this one as well to Blu-ray, Black Hawk Down, Black Panther, Black Sheep with Chris Farley, love that one, uh, Blood Diamond, uh, Blood Father, Blue Streak, this is uh, Bob Hope, this is a 10 film comedy collection, The Book of Eli, my all time favorite Denzel Washington film. This is a Boris Karloff double feature. It has the ape and British intelligence. Uh, Boys Town with Spencer Tracy. Braveheart. The Bride of Frankenstein. Bridge of Spies. Uh, this is an all-time favorite film for me, uh, especially it's uh, Nick Cage, all-time favorite Nick Cage, and that is Bringing Out the Dead, Martin Scorsese, Criterion, I need to pick that one up. Uh, the Bucket List, uh, Bullet, and lastly, it is a, I put this under Buster Keaton because there are two films of his here, um, but it has, it's a triple feature, it's got The Milky Way, The General, and College, two of these are Buster Keaton, and the other one is uh, Leo McCary. Anyway, here we go. Triple feature, two of them being Buster Keaton. Let's move on to the C's. 
So the C's are also a massive section in the collection. So here we go. We've got Captain America, the first Avenger. Captain America, a Winter Soldier. And Captain America, Civil War. Captain Marvel. Uh, Captain Phillips. Tom Hanks. Uh, then it's a four uh, movie collection, uh, Cary Grant. Uh, it's The Amazing Adventure. His Girl Friday, uh, Once Upon a Time, and Penny Serenade. I do want to pick up the His Girl Friday on Criterion. So that upgrade will happen at some point. Uh, next, Casablanca. Castaway. Charade. Love this film. Charlie Brown Christmas. Uh, this one I just recently picked up, and it is uh, Charlie Chaplin. It is over 14 hours of Chaplin, 51 features, a ton of stuff um, that I'd never seen before. So really excited to add this one to the collection. Uh, next is Charlie Chaplin. has seven features. There are three features on here that are not in that 14-hour collection. So that's why I have this one. And then Charlie Chaplin. It's a double feature of The Kid and Tilly's Punctured Romance. I do have The Kid on Criterion, but I did not have a copy of Tilly's Punctured Romance. So anyway, got that one for Chaplin. Next is A Christmas Carol. We've got a bunch of these different adaptations. A Christmas Carol. A Christmas Carol. A Christmas Carol and of course A Christmas Carol so I think oh in all I have seven adaptations of that book uh, Christmas in Connecticut Chronicles of Narnia The Circle The Circus Chaplin love it uh, Citizen Kane just recently got this one for Christmas City Lights another Chaplin film uh, the Cobbler, I actually really like this Sandler film. Contagion, way too uh, terrifying to watch in these days, although I did watch it a handful of months ago. Anyway, Contagion. Uh, the Court Jester, uh, Hammer's Home Video, just sent me this one literally yesterday. I picked this up, look forward to watching that. Uh, the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, one of my all-time favorite films, Creed, and of course, Creed 2. A, B, C, let's move to D. So on to the Ds. We've got Daddy's Home, Daddy's Home 2. I think those movies are pretty funny, actually. Uh, Dan in Real Life, this is really, really touching, really great movie. Steve Carell does an awesome job. Uh, the Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, Dark Victory. I do want to pick this one up on Blu-ray eventually, so I will upgrade that. Uh, the Day the Earth Stood Still. This has the um, remake and also the original on it. Desk Set. Destry Rides Again. Criterion. Amazing film. Uh, the Devil and Miss Jones. Uh, this I just picked up for Christmas. Gene Arthur in it. Super excited to watch this one. Uh, District 9. And Dumb and Dumber on DVD. And you're saying, why don't you have this on Blu-ray? Because the Blu-ray is the unedited version. And I think the theatrical is far better. So I'm holding out with my DVD copy until they release uh, the original on Blu-ray. Or Blu-ray and 4K, whichever comes first. Anyway, that's the D's. Here we go to the E's. So for the E's, we have East of Eden. Uh, Easy Living, just got this one for Christmas as well. Really excited to watch that. Gene Arthur again. Uh, Edge of Darkness, Mel Gibson. Uh, Edge of Tomorrow. Elf. Elysium. Uh, the Equalizer. And The Equalizer 2. Uh, this is a triple feature of classic films from when I was a kid. Uh, Ernest Goes to Camp, Ernest Scared Stupid, and Ernest Goes to Jail, all on DVD. Um, we'll be happy to upgrade those to Blu-ray someday. Uh, Ernest Saves Christmas and E.T. All right, here we go with F. We've got A Face in the Crowd on Criterion. Uh, Fahrenheit 451, Michael Shannon, Michael B. Jordan. Failsafe on Criterion as well. Uh, this is a brilliant film, The Farewell, uh, A24 film. Never seen it. Check that one out. Uh, Fast Five. Uh, Father of the Bride, Spencer Tracy. This is such a great film. I do want to upgrade this one to Blu-ray as well. 
uh, Father of the Bride and Father of the Bride 2. Fat Man just recently watched this, recently did an unboxing uh, for this one, so you can check that one out on the channel. Fences, absolutely brilliant film. First Blood, Rambo. Forces of Nature, not an amazing film, but I want it in the collection. Uh, a Foreign Affair, also with Gene Arthur. I am a huge fan. Frankenstein, this is an absolutely gorgeous steelbook. Highly recommend that one. Uh, and then next, I have a collection of Fred Astaire films. Uh, this is a form fil four film collection. You you'll never you'll never get rich. The Notorious Lady, uh, Second Chorus, and Royal Wedding. Uh, another four film collection of his, and this is with um, four films with Ginger Rogers, uh, Roberta, Follow the Fleet, Flying Down to Rio, and Vernon and Irene Castle. And then this is technically in the B section. I misplaced it, um, but it is Fred Astaire. It is the bandwagon. So anyway, that is my Fred Astaire collection. And I've got a few more Fs I forgot to put in here. I'll be right back. All right, so obviously I have some more organizing to do, but here are three more Fs I failed to mention. And this is First Cow. Uh, Stephanie from Movie Chatter just recently sent this one my way. Uh, Ford versus Ferrari. Picked this up not that long ago. And uh, sent to me from uh, Joe and Marie, uh, Furious 7 and Steelbook. So G is also a massive section. So here we go. This is the Ultimate Gangsters Collection. There are four films on here. Little Caesar, 1931. The Public Enemy, 1931. The Petrified Forest, 1936. White Heat, 1949. And there's also a uh, documentary on gangster films. Gentlemen's Agreement. Uh, Get Smart. Get the Gringo, love this film. Uh, the Ghost and Mr. Chicken. A Ghost Story, amazing film, also A24. Giant, would love to upgrade that to Blu-ray, but that one I think is pretty expensive. Gifted, this is the steel book for Gladiator. Uh, James Stewart in the Glenn Miller story. Gold Rush, Charlie Chaplin, Criterion, uh, The Good Catholic, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, Goodwill Hunting, uh, Gravity, The Great Dictator, Chaplin once again, uh, The Great Debaters, Outstanding Film, The Great Escape, Green Book, Another steelbook, Green Lantern. Uh, all time, one of my all time favorite films, uh, The Green Street Hooligans. Why this does not have a North American Blu ray release, I'll never know, but I absolutely love this film. Uh, Grown Ups. Grown Ups 2. Uh, Grudge Match. Uh, this is Grumpy Old Men and Grumpy Earl Old Men. Love those films so much. Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and The Guns of Navarone. So we've got Hacksaw Ridge, Hang 'em High, Harriet. I love this film. Harvey, James Stewart, Heat, The Help. Uh, the Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, and The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. Home Alone, Hoosiers, Hot Rod, a hilarious movie, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and lastly for the H's, The Hustler. Okay, so for the eyes, we've got I Am Legend, Ikiru, unbelievable film on a Criterion, uh, Inception, Inside Out, all-time favorite animated film, uh, Interstellar, uh, The Invisible Man, I absolutely love that film, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, and Iron Man 3, 
Uh, it happened in Brooklyn, Frank Sinatra. It happened to Jane, Doris Day, and Jack Lemmon. And lastly, for the eyes, uh, It's a Wonderful Life. All right, for the Jays, we have a James Cagney double feature, The Great Guy and the Time of Your Life. We've got a James Stewart double feature, Made for Each Other in Pot of Gold. Then John Wick, Chapter 1 on 4K. John Wick, Chapter 2 on 4K. And, of course, John Wick, Chapter 3 on 4K. Uh, next, Jojo Rabbit, an all-time favorite film of mine. Absolutely incredible. And lastly, for the Jays, Justice League. For the K's, we start off with The Kid, probably my favorite Chaplin film. Then King Arthur. Uh, the Kingdom. Uh, King Kong, the original 1933. Uh, the King of Comedy. And Knives Out. For the L's, we've got the late George Apley. Late Spring, Criterion, incredible film. A League of Their Own. Lego Batman, super funny. Uh, the Life and Death of Colonel Blimp. Uh, the Light of My Life, really love that film. Limelight, another Chaplin. Uh, Lincoln. Uh, 1933 Little Women, Catherine Hepburn. Logan. Logan Lucky. Uh, the Longest Day. And then rounding off the L's, um, my second all-time favorite uh, series of films, that is The Lord of the Rings. This is the extended edition, uh, all three films. So the M's is also a huge section. Uh, it's a mad, 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 mad world. Joe and Marie just sent this one my way. Uh, Magnificent Seven, the original. Magnificent Seven, the remake. Uh, Make Way for Tomorrow, Criterion. Really, really beautiful film. Highly recommend that one. Maltese Falcon uh, with Humphrey Bogart. I do want to upgrade this one to Blu-ray up from the Snapper case. The Manchurian Candidate with Frank Sinatra. Man of Steel. Uh, the Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, James Stewart and John Wayne. Uh, this is a 10 comedy uh, film collection, Ma and Pa Kettle. Uh, the Mark of Zorro. The Martian, The Matrix, Maverick, uh, Meet the Parents, Mickey's Christmas Carol, The Midnight Special, uh, Miracle on 34th Street, Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times, Outstanding Film, Moneyball, Monsieur Verdoux, Charlie Chaplin as well. Uh, a Monster Calls. I cannot recommend this one highly enough. So powerful, profound. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, Motherless Brooklyn. I got this a little while ago and I still haven't seen it. Looking forward to seeing it though. Uh, Mr. Deeds Goes to Town. Gene Arthur again. Uh, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Uh, James Stewart. Also Gene Arthur. Uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. We've got Mrs. Miniver, uh, The Muppet Christmas Carol, A Murder He Says, My Darling Clementine, My Life as a Zucchini, and Mystery Science Theater Presents The Undead. Right, I'm going to do N and O together. So we've got uh, The Naked Spur, James Stewart, Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, Nebraska, The Negotiator, No Escape, uh, No Time for Sergeants, Andy Griffith, uh, Ocean Heaven, Jet Li, Only Angels Have Wings, uh, Cary Grant and Gene Arthur once again, and lastly for the O's, Onward. All right, for the letter P, we've got Panic in the Streets. Uh, Paris When It Sizzles, Audrey Hepburn. The Passion of the Christ. Uh, Pat and Mike. Patch Adams. Patterson. The P 
Patriot, uh, Patriot's Day, Patton, uh, The Peacemaker, The Peanut Butter Falcon, Outstanding Film, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, maybe someday I'll upgrade that one to Blu-ray. Uh, the Philadelphia Story, I do want to upgrade this one to the Criterion Edition, and so that'll happen one of these days. Uh, the Picture of Dorian Gray. Pillow Talk. Pirates of the Caribbean. P Platoon. The Post. And lastly for peas, uh, Premium Rush. All right, so we'll do Q and R together. I only have two in my Q collection. Uh, the Quiet Man with John Wayne. And A Quiet Place. Red. Red 2. Uh, Rain Over Me, uh, my all-time favorite Adam Sandler film. Reset, really outstanding film. Uh, Rio Bravo. The Road to Perdition. Rocky, one, two, three, four, five, and Rocky Balboa. Incredible step, all-time favorite films. Uh, Roman Holiday, this is one that uh, recently, not that long ago, came out on Blu-ray, so I do need to upgrade that to Blu-ray uh, as soon as I can. Uh, Roman J. Israel Esquire. Ronin, one of my all-time favorite action films. That is the Arrow release. Rudderless. Uh, Rudolph. The Rules of the Game. And lastly, Run, Fat Boy Run, really, really good comedy. So the letter S is notoriously huge. So I have this stack and that one up there. So here we go. We've got Sabrina. I love that film. Uh, Safe House. The Samurai. Uh, this is one I do want to upgrade on Criterion at some point. The Santa Claus. Uh, Saving Mr. Banks. Saving Private Ryan. Uh, Selma. Sergeant York with Gary Cooper. I do believe this just recently got a Blu-ray release, so I will need to eventually upgrade that one. Shenandoah, James Stewart, Sherlock Holmes, and the second one, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, Shooter, The Shop Around the Corner. This did just get released last week on Blu-ray and is one of my all-time favorite films, so I do have to upgrade that one on Blu-ray as well. Signs. Silence, A Simple Life, Singing in the Rain, uh, Smallfoot, I think an underrated and uh, animated film, uh, So I Married an Axe Murderer, classic 90s, uh, Son of Kong, Southpaw, Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, The Amazing Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now on to stack two of the S's. All right, so we've got Star Trek 1, The Motion Picture. Uh, Star Trek The Motion Picture Trilogy. So this is 2, 3, and 4. The Wrath of Khan, The Search for Spock, The Voyage Home. 3, 3, 4. Uh, 5 is Star Trek The Final Frontier. And 6, uh, The Undiscovered Country. So all the Star Trek there. Uh, then the remakes, Star Trek. Star Trek Into, the, Into Darkness. And Star Trek Beyond. Star Wars, uh, Phantom Menace, The Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, Solo, uh, Rogue One, maybe my favorite Star Wars film of all time. Don't hate me for that. Uh, Star Wars, A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Star Wars, uh, The Last Jedi and Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Still Alice, 
Straight Place and Show, Stranger Than Fiction, Suicide Squad, and Sully. And last for the S's is Criterion Release, Spy Number 22 of Summertime, with Catherine Hepburn. All right, the letter T, we've got the Taking of Pelham 1, 2, 3 with Malter Matthau. Uh, Taking of Pelham 1, 2, 3 with Denzel Washington, John Travolta. Ninja Turtles, the one I had as a kid. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3D, the newer one. Uh, the Terminal, I really like that one. That Thing You Do, this is a perfect movie. Perfect in every way. Absolutely love it. Uh, that Touch of Mink with Cary Grant and Doris Day. This is a uh, four-film collection, uh, the Thin Man collection. The Thin Man, After the Thin Man, Another Thin Man, Shadow of the Thin Man. Uh, we've got The Third Man. I love, love, love this film. Orson Welles. Thor. Thor Ragnarok. I still got to pick up the second Thor film. Three Amigos. To Catch a Thief. I actually have the um, Paramount Presents one. Uh, coming to me very soon on Blu-ray. So this will be upgraded very soon. Tombstone. Tommy Boy, uh, definitely maybe my top one or two comedies of all time. Uh, Tomorrow is Forever with Orson Welles. Toy Story 2. Toy Story 3. Uh, the Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Humphrey Bogart. I do need to uh, upgrade that one to Blu-ray. True Grit, and last for the T's, 12 O'Clock High with Gregory Peck. All right, we're just gonna go for it. U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. We've got Umberto D. I recently picked this one up on the Criterion sale, so I have not got to see that one yet. Uh, Unbreakable, Untouchables, love this film. Sean Connery is incredible in that. Venom, I actually really, really like this one. Can't wait to see the follow-up to that. V for Vendetta, love that one. Uh, wait Until Dark, love this film as well. I just saw it for the first time this year. Loved it, Walk the Line, really great film. Uh, Warrior. Waterboy. Uh, the Way Back, I thought was a really, really strong film especially for 2020. We didn't have much come out, but that was a great one. Uh, this is a 10 film collection, a WC Fields. We Were Soldiers. A White House Down. White Main. Uh, the Whole Town's Talking, Gene Arthur is in that one. Wild Strawberries. The Wizard of Oz. Uh, Wolverine X-Men Origins and the Wolverine. Woman of the Year, Spencer Tracy, Katherine Hepburn. Uh, Wonder, I cry from start to finish in this film. Wonder Woman. World War Z. Uh, Wyatt Earp. Uh, X-Men. X-Men X2. X-Men The Last Stand, X-Men Days of Future Past, The Rogue Cut, James Cagney in Yankee Doodle Dandy, love this film, Yesterday, such a great, great film, music's so good, uh, You Can't Take It With You, Gene Arthur again, James Stewart, and last into the Z's, we got Zero Dark 30. Next, what I'll do is I'll take you through my TV uh, collection, and that will be the end. Okay, so most of this isn't in any particular order. Uh, I've got the Black Donnellys. Highly recommend the show if you've never seen it. Such a great show. Uh, this is the Jolly Frolics collection. It's an animated uh, collection. It's a couple of discs of that. Gomer Pyle, season one. The Andy Griffith Show, season one. The Andy Griffith Show Season 8. I do want to, uh, they released these thin sets of these, Andy Griffith Show, so I do want to fill that out. So Seasons 2 through 7, still need to pick up. Uh, I Love Lucy Season 1 on Blu-ray. I Love Lucy Season 2 on DVD. Uh, the Lucy Show Season 1. The Rifleman Season 2, Volume 2. Bewitched Season 1. Love this show very, very much. 
the Beverly Hillbillies. Life with Elizabeth. I love this show. With, um, Betty White. The Honeymooners. It's got a handful of episodes from this TV series. Welcome back, Cotter. This is the complete series. Uh, Shout Factory released this one. Great, great set. And uh, the complete series of Parks and Recreation. And I will grab some more. All right, so we've got 30 Rock Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3. We've got Modern Family Season 1, Modern Family Season 3. Still need to pick up the rest of those. Uh, Saturday Night Live, the best of Chris Farley. He is maybe my all-time favorite comedian. I am Chris Farley. I'd love to uh, upgrade that one to Blu-ray at some point. Uh, then I've got The Simpsons Christmas, the first volume and the second volume. Frasier, first season, love this TV show. Uh, Everybody Loves Raymond, the complete sixth uh, season of that show. Mork and Mindy, I've got season, Robin Williams, season one and season two. All-time favorite comedian of mine is Mr. Bean, and so I've got this three-volume set. Uh, Mr. Bean, The Whole Bean, contains all 14 episodes. Love that show. And then it's between this show and The Andy Griffith Show is one of my all-time favorite television show is. But here we go. The Office Season 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. There's a pile there that looks like it's about to collapse. Then on Blu-ray six, on Blu-ray seven, on Blu-ray eight, and then back to DVD, but in the slim case season nine. Have all nine seasons. One day I will hopefully upgrade that to the Blu-ray complete series, but for right now I got them there. I have one last pile for you. Okay, for this final pile, it's kind of a mishmash of some things. Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien, The Master of the Rings, just recently picked that up. Uh, the Foo Fighters, Skin and Bones, their acoustic tour. Uh, Elevation U2 in Boston, greatest city. The Raconteurs. Uh, next is the Ultimate Michael Jordan DVD collection, outstanding collection. Uh, Into the Wind, Terry Fox, Canadian hero. If you've never seen that one, check that out. Uh, Bad Boys, Detroit Pistons, The Fab Five, Michigan, The Sixteenth Man. This is an ESPN 30 for 30. Uh, KG, Kevin Garnett. Um, I also have two or three other Celtics uh, films, but those are in my office. And then here we go. This is the last couple of things here. Um, Return of the Jedi on VHS. Um, Empire Strikes Back on VHS. Batman 1989, Rocky 4 on VHS, and last but not least, Dumb and Dumber on VHS. Friends, that is my entire collection. Blu-rays, DVDs, 4K, and even a couple of VHS. I don't even own VCR. Anyway, friends, I hope you enjoyed it. That was, I think this is the longest video I've ever done. It will at least be another year before I do another collection update. But anyway, thank you so much for uh, journeying with me this year on this channel. It's still, uh, to me, I consider it pretty new. I've only been doing it now for nine months, but I wanted to do my very first collection tour, and there you go. That's all of what I've got, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please do hit like, uh, subscribe if you want more of this kind of content, and I hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe, and we'll see you next time. Oh God, please tell me I'm not the only one who's in this situation.